This is the palette right here. It's absolutely stunning. It's gigantic. It's the size of my head. Hey everybody, it's Jenny. And today I will be doing a first impressions of the Emily Edit The Once palette. I can't wait to try this because I have been a fan of Emily Noel's for quite some time now. She was one of the original beauty gurus here on YouTube and I don't know how else to describe her content other than amazing. And if you haven't checked her out yet, you really should. I'm also excited because I am a fan of Revolution Beauty. I have several of their products in these drawers back here, from the chocolate bar palettes to the little Easter eggs that they released for spring. And I find that their quality is really good, even though it might not be the most pigmented stuff in the entire world. I find that it's perfect for when I need something to wear to work and I don't want to go in with a big bright blue eye look or something wild like that. Without any further ado, let's try this palette out. So I'm going to go into the shade Hobby, Dues Paid, this burgundy shade right here that I can't pronounce, Grateful, and Side Hustle. Emily has included quite a few beautiful colors in this palette. I'm gonna go in with green because Side Hustle and Grateful are catching my eye and there isn't any way I'm not doing a first impression without trying those colors on. That first shade I'm going in with is the shade that I can't pronounce. It looks like Pi Phi or something like that. Let's see how that looks in the crease. As always, before I begin, I'm going to put on a little bit of Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So right away I'm noticing that the pigmentation isn't too bad. And I'm just gonna use windshield wiper motions to blend out a little bit before I go in with the color Deuce Paid. All right, let's finish the blending now with Deuce Paid. I'm bringing this right above that burgundy shade to blend it out. Now just to get rid of any harsh lines, I'll just go in with Hobby with a smaller blending brush. And I'm just gonna deepen up the inner portion of my crease ever so slightly. I don't usually do this step just because I like to give my eyes a more lifted eye look, um, kind of more like a cat eye look, but let's see how this works there. I'm not sure how it's looking on camera, but in person, it looks like the mattes blended out relatively well. I wasn't expecting the quality of maybe some of the Viseart eyeshadows that I have, but for the cost of this palette and how much you get in here, I think that they're performing pretty well. Now that I've finished cleaning up my crease, let's go in with Side Hustle and see how that performs. As expected, the shadow doesn't feel as soft when I dig my brush in it, but let's see how it actually looks on the eyes. Yeah, this color is definitely on the subtler side, but since it is Makeup Revolution, I wasn't necessarily expecting intense shimmer. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the color on the other side of the eye and then Add a little bit of Fix Plus to see if that improves the look of the green shimmer shade. I've applied a little bit of color. Let's add some setting spray to that. All right, let's see. Much better. There we go. Now let's go ahead and put a little bit of Grateful. I'm gonna apply it dry and then again, if needed, I'll be putting a little bit of the MAC Fix Plus and blending that together. Let me go back in and add a little bit more just so that the color is a little bit more intense. Now I'm going to add a little bit of Side Hustle to deepen up that outer V just a little bit more and blend it in with Grateful. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup, then come back and do the lower lash line and the inner corner. For the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with Oh Heavens, and for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with Good Vibes. Oh Heavens seems to be a little powdery. I'm gonna set it with some Fix Plus right now. I'm just brushing Good Vibes under the lower lash line with a shader brush. I'm 
Now that is a beautiful color. I'm wishing Side Hustle had applied like this one does, but I mean, it is Makeup Revolution after all. I'm going to take Oh Heavens and brush that also underneath the lower lash line to join. Good vibes. Let me apply some mascara and liner and I'll give you my final thoughts. Overall, I like this Emily Edits Once palette. It reminds me a lot of the other Revolution Beauty palettes that I have back here in that they require a little bit of extra effort to get them to work. That's not necessarily a problem for me, especially at the $20 that this eyeshadow palette costs. If you do like palettes that are a little bit more work appropriate or you like to incorporate subtlety on certain days, maybe you're a neutral girl that wants to play with color, I highly recommend this palette. Plus it's Emily Noel. I love her and I love supporting her and End Revolution Beauty. If you prefer that highly pigmented look, then this isn't going to be the palette for you and you probably will just end up being disappointed if you purchase it. Stay tuned, I'm gonna do some breast swatches for you. Until next time, bye. The first shade here is called The Cream. The next shade is The Midwest. And again, these are breast swatches, so they're not gonna look as intense as they would if they were finger swatches. And then we have Oh Heavens, it's a very sheer shade that I use in the inner corner. This next shade is Cupcake. And these are very soft, subtle colors, but that's okay. This is the shade Hobby. It's a very light shade. And this one is Dews Paid. Dews Paid is a lot more pigmented than Hobby is. Hobby is more of a base shade, even though it looks to be darker in the pan. And Dews Paid, as you can tell, comes off very pigmented. And then we have the shade Love Tons. And then we have the shade Prayer. It's the shade Prayer here. It's this shade looks like it would be lighter than Hobby, but it's definitely more pigmented. And then we have Eve Rose. This is one of those light purple shadows, so you definitely want to use some sort of setting spray or Fix Plus with this one. And then we have the shade Pizzazz. Again, it's a purple, so it's definitely more difficult to work with. And then we have the shade Cheer. It looks a little sheer. And then on the lower half of my arm, I'm gonna apply the next half of the palette. Starting with Grateful. It's the one I used on my eyes. As you can see, very sheer. And then we have Bella Violet. This is another one of those eyeshadows that you're going to want to use some setting spray or Fix Plus with. For the price of this palette, I don't think requiring the use of Fix Plus or a setting spray is really a bad deal. Then we have the shade Family, another sheer purple color. Let's see how that builds up. It builds up nicely. And then we have the shade Heartbeat. And this one seems to be a little streaky, patchy. It's going again. And when you build this one up, it is the most foiled so far. And then we have Good Vibes. This one definitely 
works better with a more firm and finely packed brush. Now we have the shade Capricorn. Again, a little bit patchy, but it brushes out well. Here we have Top Story, also very foily. Corduroy is a little more uh, powdery. Here we have Side Hustle. And here's that burgundy shade. It looks like pie fee. I'm gonna go back up here to apply the shade apartment. And finally, we have the shade dark and early. So those are the shades.